Hey guys, it's Maddie, and today we have episode number 18 of 10 Things You Didn't Know About. In today's video, we will be covering a couple things you might not know about Max Cult Classic Cab Over Engine models. But before we get started, this video was made possible by our online chrome shop, jackschromeshop.com. The all-new Roadworks exhaust kits for Peterbilt and Kenworth trucks can be found on the website and come with free freight and ship within 48 hours. Save stacks on stacks when you shop with Jack's Chrome. And remember folks, if your rig don't shine, you don't know Jack. Number one. Mac truly made a name for itself in the 60s when they manufactured a cutting edge new class of cab over and conventional models in 1962. The first featured in this fresh faced family was the fan favorite F model, which debuted an advanced all steel sleeper and cab configuration. Following its introduction, the F model family further unfolded to unveil even more iconic models, including the renowned R model, the unique U model, and the DM model. The F model featured five different diesel engines, including Max Thermodyne and Maxidyne engines, as well as Cummins, Caterpillar, and Detroit Diesel. And most models were manufactured as set forward axle trucks, although some setback axle versions were shipped overseas. Furthermore, the F series used taper leaf front springs, which provided a much smoother ride. Number two, speaking of the F-Series shipping overseas, the fan favorite F model made an appearance in Australia as the modified FR model. Meanwhile, Mac also made a few frame variants in either aluminum or steel versions, denoted by FL and FS designations. As perhaps the most popular and extensive catalog of cab overs made by the company, the F-Series vast range of rigs ran far and wide with over 40 versions of the truck and a total of nearly 60,000 models made. Number three, before the famed F models were made, the company had their H series cab overs, which were introduced in 1953 and were dubbed as cherry pickers because of their high cab configurations combined with their shortened bumper to back of cab lengths of only 80 inches. Additionally, these compact cab overs also had high-tech hydraulic tilt cab configurations and were the company's most profit-conscious choice while still providing an increased payload. Another quirk of this rare rig came in the chassis, which was the same classic conventional design debuted on dozens of Mac's other models, with only the controls and sheet metal changed in the creation of this space-saving semi-tractor. Number four. Also around this same time, the G models were introduced in 1959 with the first all aluminum riveted cab construction. This all new aluminum design allowed for a lighter weight with heavier hauling abilities and saw substantial success, especially in West Coast applications. The G series saw a shortened production run due to a combination of their striking similarities to Kenworth's current cab overs in addition to the company already being ready to begin building the F models. In fact, a few unconfirmed rumors that Mac hired a designer from Kenworth to help design the G-Series have also circulated over the course of time. Number five. In 1975, the company came out with their cult classic cruise liner cab over, which came with over 30 engine options and was coined as the fancier F model because of its chrome customizations and interior improvements. Although serving as an icon of innovation for the industry, the cruise liner cab overs did come with a couple of complications, including a so-called self-destructing dashboard, which essentially would end up dragging down in the driver's lap. Despite these difficulties, the cruise liner's frame was also featured on a few future freight haulers, including the following fan favorite Superliner tractor. Number six, speaking of cruise liner cab overs, although the star of the show in the cult classic trucking movie Convoy was an R model Mac, a 1978 Mac cruise liner model also makes its appearance in the fan favorite film, 
driven by Pigpen. However, many movie maniacs and cab over collectors have accused the cabbie of actually being a Kenworth K100 truck covered up to come across as a cruise liner, which coined the term cruise whopper for the truck. Some claim you can clearly see where the truck has been reworked, particularly in the paint, which was switched to a similar scheme as what would be found on classic cruise liners, as well as the modified Mac nameplate above the grill. Number seven, continuing after the cruise liner, the company came out with their ultraliner truck in 1982 to take over the older and more outdated cruise liner cab over. The ultraliner model featured a fully fiberglass cab on a reinforced metal frame, four different interior trim options, and the choice between round or square headlights. Also similar to the sameness shared between Max Classic Cruise Liner and Superliner models, the company came out with their second generation Superliner 2 semi-tractor, which saw the utilization of the same Ultraliner chassis. Number eight, also under the Ultraliner umbrella, as far as Class 8 cab overs go, this vehicle was very light in comparison to its competitors and also allowed for heavier hauling. However, even after all the love it received following its launch, the Ultraliner would ultimately be the last long haul cab over the company would continue to create all the way up until 1990. Despite their discontinuation, the Ultraliner cab over continued to remain relatively common all the way up into the mid to late 90s. When suddenly these semis and their other cab over counterparts seemingly ceased to exist, mainly due to drastic deregulatory laws launched during this time. Number nine, the beloved Bulldog emblem has spent nearly 100 years of use as not only an industry icon, but the company's classic hood ornament. But it wasn't until 1979 that the dog developed a new design with a smoother surface and also adapted an all new function for the furry freight hall and friends. These pooch ornaments changed operations on conventionals and cab overs, with cab over engine ornaments offering themselves as a stabilizing handle for washing the windshield as well as servicing the wipers. Number 10. Unlike most manufacturers, Mac continues to make cab over models, known as TerraPro trucks. As the amplified demand for cleaner emissions and alternative fuel options emerged, these TerraPro tractors were taken a step further in 2010 when Mack made the announcement that they would now offer an all-new alternative natural gas-powered version of the cabover variant. The cabovers come equipped with a heavy-duty Cummins engine and the ability to utilize either compressed or liquefied natural gas, which pumped up their popularity, particularly in the refuse realm where many municipalities mandate fuel-friendly models as a condition in contracts. Thank you so much for watching our 10 things you didn't know about Mac cabovers. Before you leave, make sure you like the video, check out the other videos on our channel, and subscribe. We have finally reached our goal of 20k subscribers, so thank you all so much for your support for the show. Next stop, 50k. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything else you'd like to talk to us about, please be sure to tune into the live podcast, The Chrome Corner, Wednesdays at noon, Eastern Standard Time, and join Maddie and Dave as they answer viewers' questions and discuss all things Chrome. If you'd like to stay up to date with the new projects we have coming, please follow us at Jack's Chrome Show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We still have our truck history shirts available on our website at jackschromeshow.com, so please be sure to check them out. Save stacks on stacks at jackschromeshop.com with the all new Roadworks exhaust kits for Peterbilt and Kenworth trucks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. And remember, guys, if your rig don't shine, you don't know Jack. Mm -hmm.